Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Tenian's Corner. I am Jesse and today's video is a follow-up to my previous one on the Toxic Avenger remake in light of recent developments since the reboot saw its premiere at the Fantastic Fest in Austin on September 21st. And also a few weeks ago, an official image was released which gave us a little glimpse of the Toxic Avenger and what he'll look like. And I also thought in this video it would be fun to do a drawing of the Toxic Avenger as a kind of homage to trauma films and my love of trauma, and I'm excited to share that with you all. But first I wanted to take a look at this image that was released, and you can definitely see that Peter Dinklage will in fact be playing the Toxic Avenger after he's been mutated which is a departure from the original movie where you had two actors in the role, one playing his human identity before he's mutated and then the other playing the Toxic Avenger himself. But I do understand that when you get an actor of the caliber of Peter Dinklage, then you definitely don't want to sideline him in the first act of the movie. And I'm open to this new interpretation. I think it's going to be a controversial choice. Maybe not everyone will be on board with it, particularly those who want the movie, the remake, to honor the spirit of the original film and kind of recreate that experience in a way. But I feel that trauma has never been about holding on to the past or some canonical version of what their character should be or what their film should be. There are no rules to a trauma film. I mean, trauma has always been about irreverence, not reverence, about subverting expectations, flouting conventions, and just reveling in its excess and trashiness. I hope this film, as it's been reported, just uh, goes for it. They say it's gonna go back to using practical gore and effects, and just looking at the image, I like some of the vibe and the ambiance. The smoke, it looks very simple too. I like that, very simple. It looks like Peter Dinklage is just a guy with prosthetics and that they're gonna really go for those practical, functional effects. Uh, I don't see a lot of CGI. Maybe there's a little digital rendering going on there, like with the uh, mop. But I like how minimalist it is. This is going back to something more gritty, more grounded. At least that's what I hope it's going for. We can also see what looks like the worn, weathered, tattered tutu that he's wearing. I hope this film isn't overly earnest or serious. That's not really why I go to watch a trauma movie. I like there to be that dark, edgy satire and just have it revel in its exploitative nature and its shock value. But I guess the question is, can you make a film like that today? And you have to kind of pull your punches sometimes with it uh, just to kind of make it palatable for a mass audience or a contemporary audience. I mean, you do get R-rated films like Deadpool that have that irreverence to them and they are huge successes. So maybe a film like this does have a chance of, of pushing the limit and still finding an audience. But I do know the writer and director, Macon Blair, is a devotee of trauma and has a good handle on what trauma is about. So hopefully he just uh, channels it and puts his own stamp on it and uh, just has fun with it. And uh, so I hope this film does it. We'll see. I do like what I'm seeing with this image. And again, I'll reiterate, I love how minimalist it is and how simple it is. It's just a breath of fresh air just looking at it. But let's get to this drawing demo and uh, hope you enjoy it. I had fun trying to do my own kind of take on the character and just kind of have a free flowing process to it. So yeah, let's start this.
Troma, so yeah, let's add some blood and make it a little gory. All right, there we go. All right, cool. That's done. That's a wrap. Guess I'm happy with it. Okay, well, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.